Welcome back everybody. We're in the middle of the Griddlemore tour. We're having a blast, but my family's taking a quick vacation down near Pagosa Springs, Colorado. One of the core recipes on tour this year is a chicken street taco. It's so easy to make. I have made several thousand of these so far this year. I've got it locked in, and today I'm going to show you how to make my 2022 Griddlemore chicken street tacos. We have the 28 inch adventure ready griddle. It's cranked up pretty high and some extra virgin olive oil. As with all of my recipes, I like to put a little oil on the griddle top first and rub it in. So just like a cast iron skillet, I always want my griddle to look like this. On tour this year, I've been using the Tyson grilled and ready chicken. You never know what you're gonna get with supply chains this year. So I like to use the pulled chicken most of the time. They're little strips that are sort of pulled apart. Sometimes they're whole chicken breasts. Today I got stuck with the whole chicken breast. I just simply gave them a little thaw and I sliced them up into kind of fajita style slices. So we're gonna go straight down on the griddle top and we'll show you how I break these up for a chicken street taco. A little more olive oil if you need to. Now with this recipe, I do like to use one of our thicker, heavier spatulas. I like the thin spatulas the most, but I'm chopping up chicken here, so I definitely want to use a heavy spatula. Now on tour, we're doing a massive, like a 15 pound portion of this, but we're gonna break it down today here really small. So if you come down here, you can see what I'm talking about. This will be enough to make, you know, maybe, maybe 10 or 15 street tacos. Now you can do this recipe with raw chicken if you're at home. But again, I'm just showing you how we do this on the griddle more tour. Usually grab a tin like this. Now on tour, we have a huge tin that we use, but we're doing a small portion today. So that is gonna go straight down on the griddle top like that. And we're gonna grab our scraper. This will be very easy, minimal cleaning today. So just a light scrape to get this chicken off. The griddle. Okay, I'll grab a paper towel. I always like to keep my griddle clean. And I'm basically just gonna rub those oils in there. There we go. Get the crumbs off. My griddle top is completely clean. I'll shove this to one side over one of the burners. So on tour, we're typically using one of these canned enchilada sauces, something like this. You can find them at most grocery stores in America. So I've always made a lot of tacos at home, but they've always been a little dry, right? And you go to one of these drive-through taco places, a taqueria, I guess they call them. The tacos are always so amazing. One day I was in Walmart a couple years ago and I got to thinking, wait a minute, it's enchilada sauce, but what if I used it as a taco marinade? So that's what we're doing. But today we're gonna tuck this away because my good friends at the 505 Southwestern out of New Mexico hooked me up with a case of stuff. So we're gonna use the best of the best, the 505 Southwestern medium red chili enchilada sauce. We wanna go just enough to where the sauce permeates the chicken, okay? But we don't wanna make this like a chicken soup. So I would say that's enough to get us started. And then maybe just a little more on top and we can add a little more as we need to if this starts to dry out later or if some of that sauce simmers away. And then we're just gonna set it over here and forget it and if we need to we can just crank that down to low mission street taco size tortillas nice and small see street tacos they have them in flour they have them in corn and they even have one that's harder to find it's a, a sweet hawaiian i think but we're going to use flour today it's what i prefer to use on tour just because flour is a little more thick and you don't have to double it up uh, like you do a corn tortilla because they're not fragile. Again, I go down with the oil on top of the griddle. Check it out. You can see that beautiful simmering 
chicken street taco meat mixture over here. And then, depending on how hot your griddle is, you should have color shortly, okay? Now, the keys to the tortillas, friends, you don't want these things to get crispy. We're not making a tortilla chip for dipping. We want these things to be pliable, but to just have a really nice color, accents of yellow and brown on there. So something just like that. Then I'll just start stacking these things up, something like this. Be careful, friends, the griddle is hot. I've been doing this a long time. I'm a bare-handed griddler, or I just wear, you know, rubber gloves, latex gloves when I'm on the road. But if you need to wear a protective glove, go ahead and do it. We got the Blackstone first generation taco holders here. And our tortillas, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now on tour, I typically take the tequila lime, Blackstone tequila lime, and mix it in with my meat. Today I decided to just do it differently. Really nice taste of lime. You can pick that up at Walmart, walmart.com. Now this is how we do it on tour. Fresh chopped cilantro with fresh chopped onion. That's right, a raw onion. Uh, you can do this with a sauteed onion, but the street taco uh, style, of course, is to the, have that raw onion. Now listen, friends, if you don't like onion, or if you don't like cilantro, whatever, okay, feel free not to use it. We have the cotilla cheese. That's a Mexican crumbling cheese. It sort of breaks down, almost tastes like Parmesan, okay? Here we go. We usually have that sprinkled on top. When I say we, I mean Belicia. I'll insert a picture here. She's our uh, amazing field manager this year and she makes these things look so good. We typically will put some lime wedges on there. So we're going out single serve, right? So we get a few lime wedges, one on each taco. But today we have a bigger portion here. So we'll just put a couple of big lime wedges down there like that. And then last but not least, you have to have the Cholula chili garlic. It's my favorite. If you can't get it, you know, you can use something else. But my goodness, if you can get it, Cholula chili garlic. Look, I'll put a little bit over those limes just to kind of make them stand out. I'll sprinkle it on top like that, folks. And then typically we'll put some crema, some Mexican sour cream, some table cream, if you will. We'll just kind of drizzle this. If you notice that the ingredients are getting absorbed in, you could always hit it up with another little touch of the sauce as well. Take a look at that, friends. This has been a highlight, one of the many highlights of the tour this year. People are going crazy over the Chicken Street Tacos. It seems like I'm always making tacos on every other day, except for Tuesday. So a little bit of lime, and let's give it a try. It seems like for the last decade that I've been cooking on Blackstone Griddles, right, I need to saute everything, always sauteing the onions, and I'm forcing people to eat sauteed onions on everything. But for some reason on this one, you want a crunchy onion. That's what they do in the food truck. They have that fresh, you know, chopped onion with cilantro and the enchilada sauce in the chicken. Mm -hmm. Do you like that? So good. Yep. It's so good to have that enchilada sauce on there. Good flavor. I'll be honest with you, I don't drink much soda pop anymore. I've been really trying to eat healthy lately. And by the way, street tacos, pretty darn healthy, by the way. And you can go thinner and thinner. We've been using a lot of the low carb tortilla options as well. Make sure you join me on tour uh, all the way up to July 3rd. We're going to be ending in Long Island. We're in Pennsylvania. Until next time, everybody, thanks for watching. Make one of these. They're delicious. This is Todd and my wife, Kim. We're saying praise, praise the, Lord the Lord and pass the Chicken, Chicken Street, Street tacos. tacos. Beep! And I should point out that I always do season the chicken with the tequila lime when I put it down on the griddle. Today I just forgot because things are always going 100 miles an hour when you're filming these videos. So, But hey, if you forget like I do, you can just season it after the fact. 